your money should be submitted to your husband before you spend a dime out of it. Yes, you heard me right. Your money belongs to the both of you and he has the authority, full authority over the money, over your resources to tell you how to spend it, what to do with it. Remember, he's the head of the home. You are to submit to him in everything, including my money, the way we call it. It's my money. I work for it. No, it's our money, and then he has the control over the money. Ah, woman of God, how can you say that? What if he spends it? Well, that's why that period of courtship it's good for you to choose the man you will gladly submit to. Because if you don't submit your resources, especially your money, to your husband, you are disobeying God. It's a sin. It can hinder your, your prayer. It can, I'm telling you the truth. It can hinder your prayer. You become an, an, an unsincere person before God. You become a liar. You become a liar before God. He says, submit in all things. All things means all things. I'm not the one that said it to. Let's look at your Bible. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 24. Open your device. Let's read. Open your Bible, manual Bible if you have one with you. Let's read together. I'm reading from the King James Version. It says, therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Did he say in some things? No, in all things. So I give you um, a scenario now. For example, if you are a working class wife, at the end of the month, when your salary is paid, you bring the alert, the credit alert to your husband and show him. In fact, copy it from your phone. Send it to him on WhatsApp. Okay, you don't have WhatsApp. Send it to him as an SMS. Honey, my salary has been paid. What do we do about it? I need to get some, of, some, some things. You, can, you let him know what you need. He has to approve it. Uh, is it my father that trained me? Well... That's why you have changed your father's name to his name. It's now your new father. It's now your, your leader. You submit to your leader. It's like voting someone into an office. That period you vote that man, that politician, that woman into that office to represent you. He will be the leader. There's nothing you can do about it. He's going to lead you. Because you voted him. So the time of courtship is the time of voting. That time you were courting. You had every, every, um, every chances. You know all the chances in the world. You had every chance to say, I want this one. I don't want this one. I can submit to this. I can submit to this. Because if you get married to him, if you eventually marry him, you will submit to him. You must submit. I don't believe in, it's my money. It's my money. I will do whatever I like with it. I will spend it how I like it. No. From the day you say I do, from the day you said I do to him, he becomes your leader. Your money becomes, on, uh, it becomes his money. His money becomes your money. But most importantly, you as a woman, you are the one to submit. You submit to him. He tells you how the money should be spent. He tells, you, he tells you what to do. And do you know as a woman, as a wife, as a Christian wife, you are not supposed to give out money to anybody, any human being without the consent of your husband. Because if you do, you are also an unsincere wife. You are also an unsincere. So you need to tell him, I want to pay my brother's I want to buy a house for my mother. I want to take my dad on a medical trip. You need to. You have to let him know everything. Stop hiding your financial activities from your husband. He's the head. Submit to him. Submit to him. He has 